Today I will be removing the knee board, pictured here, along with the engine, because oh, middle of January it's rather unpleasant to ride, and it being a friction drive it's useless in the rain, and it's also rather useless in the cold, but bear with me with cam jerky camera movement because I only have one leg, so I'm using my other knee scooter to accomplish this task. The first thing I must do is to remove the knee board. That was rather quick. Now, disconnect the ignition cables, which are temporary right here. They will be replaced with, excuse me, only have two hands. They will be replaced with bullet connectors. Next step will be to remove this, if I can remember how. Oh, here we go. Ha! Ah, hold on a second. There we go. Let's disconnect the throttle cable. So I'm going to have to set the camera down for this one. a little bit easier. There we are. Now the fun part. This was all adapted out of a bicycle engine kit from bikeberry.com. Anyway, I must excuse the light here. Uh, release the quick release on the back side so I can remove that so I can angle the engine upwards because I do not have an Allen socket which would enable access to the mounting bolts through these two holes there we go pictured right there however since that's not available I must remove the back engine mount and tilt the engine upwards to access it
All the bolts are removed. And, voila! Well, almost voila! Yeah. Back to the tool bin. Gotta remove that. Or loosen it anyway. I'll be back. I forgot. I'm back. Uh, the engine kit also came with this rather nifty Chinese EM wrench. So, that'll work. There we go. Yeah, that needs good for something. This one starts to get heavy. There's only one bolt holding it on left, or one screw anyway.
don't know if you can see it in there, but on the back side of the pinch roller there, not pinch roller, but friction roller, is the last and final bolt. So I have to set the camera down where you can't exactly see it. I apologize. It's a little bit better. Yeah, you know what? Let me go get a flashlight so you can see. Be right back. Yeah, all right, I'm back. There it is. That's the last one I have to get. Bear with me. Almost done. fourth and final one. And here we go. There's the end. And the adapter. And I'll re-knot the screws on the engine so I don't lose it. And there it is. And here it is from the underside. And there's a clutch drum which I will be sanding for a little bit extra grit. Anyway, I'm going to put it back together so I can use it for indoor use. The view of this thing. I call it the battle cow because these lazy bars look like horns. Well, yeah, should be called battle bull, but whatever. Battle cow seems to fit. Anyway, that's it for now. There will be more updates to this as I go through the whole enhancement of this whole setup. 
And basically, you can motorize these things. Just have to look at one thing. These things were never made to go this fast. Something you do at your own risk. Plastic wheels were not designed to get even close to 20 miles an hour. I've gotten fairly close to that. I've got between 15 and 18. It's not happy. You can see the damage on the rim of the wheel there, as well as the one on the front, since all these wheels are the same. Well, you have three wheels, but it's ideally if you can find a metal wheel to fit back here, it would work a lot better. But anyway, that's it for now. We'll talk to you all later. Thank you. Bye bye. And here it is with the rear engine mount reassembled, which is kind of necessary if you're going to leave it on there. And bear with me one moment. I'll, let me tighten this down and I will put the bicycle seat on it. And I'll show you that. Looks kind of weird, but it works, trust me. And the training wheel, which is kind of necessary, especially with the bicycle seat. You'll see why in a moment. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a bicycle seat. The seat post. I'm sorry. Skip one step. Excuse me. Security clip. actually makes sitting down and getting around a lot easier because you don't have to go down on your knee. Anyway, that's it for now. There will be more to come when I reassemble this thing here honestly probably in a month. And I'll show you the standing process as well in the clutch drum. Kind of needs to be done anyway. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.